the poor and the unprivileged. Madam, I now turn my proposals to the poor and the unprivileged. Sabka saath, sabka vikas begins with the girl, child and the woman. Mahila Shakti Kendras will be set up at a village level with an allocation of rupees 500 crores in 14 lakh ICDS Anganwadi centers. This will provide a one-stop convergent support system for empowering rural women with opportunities for skill development, employment, digital literacy, health and nutrition. A nationwide scheme for financial in assistance to pregnant women has already been announced by the Honorable Prime Minister on the 31st of December 2016. Under this scheme, rupees 6,000 each will be transferred directly to the accounts of a pregnant women who undergo institutional delivery and vaccinate their children. For the welfare of women and children, under various schemes across ministries, I have stepped up the allocation from rupees 1,56,528 crores in the BE of 2016-17 to rupees 1,84,000 crores, 632 crores in 2017 and 18. We propose to facilitate higher investment in affordable housing and affordable, uh, 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 affordable housing will now be given infrastructure status which enables those projects to avail the associated benefits. The National Housing Bank will refinance individual housing loans of rupees 20,000 crores in 2017 and 18. Thanks to the surplus liquidity created by demonetization, the banks have already started reducing their lending rates, including those for housing. In addition, Interest subvention for housing loans has been announced by the Honorable Prime Minister. Poverty is usually associated with poor health. It is the poor who suffer the maximum from various chronic diseases. Government has therefore prepared an action plan to eliminate Kalazar and filariasis by 2017, leprosy by 2018 and measles by 2020. Elimination of tuberculosis by 2025 is also targeted. Similarly, action has been prepared to reduce the IMR from 34, 39 in 2014 to 28 in 2019, MMR from 167 in 2011 to 13 to 100 by 2018-20. 1.5 lakh health sub-centers will be transformed into health wellness centers. We need to ensure adequate availability of specialist doctors to strengthen the secondary and the tertiary levels of health care. We have therefore decided to take steps to create an additional 5,000 postgraduate seats per annum. In addition, steps will also be taken to roll out the DNB courses in the big district hospitals, strengthen postgraduate training in the select ESI and municipal corporation hospitals, and encourage reputed private hospitals to start the DNB courses. We will work with the state government to take this task forward. The government is also committed to take necessary steps for structural transformation of the regulatory framework of the medical education and practice in India. Two new All India Institute of Medical Sciences will be set up in the states of Jharkhand and Gujarat. We propose to amend the drugs and cosmetic rules to ensure availability of drugs at reasonable prices to ensure the use of generic medicines. New rules regarding medical devices will be formulated. These rules will be internationally harmonized and attract investment into this sector. This will reduce the cost of such devices. We have been keen to foster a conducive labor environment wherein labor rights are protected and harmonious labor relations leads to higher productivity. Legislative reforms will be undertaken to simplify, rationalize and amalgamate existing labor laws into four codes, one wages, two industrial relations, three social security and welfare, and four safety and working conditions. The model SOP and Establishment Bill 2016 has been circulated to all states for consideration and adoption. This would 
open up additional avenues of employment for women. The amendment to the amendment made to the Payment of Wages Act is another initiative of our government for the benefit of the labor and the ease of doing business. Our government is committed, our government is giving special importance to the implementation of schemes for the welfare of scheduled castes, scheduled tribe and minorities. The allocation of the scheduled caste has been stepped up from rupees 38,000 833 crores in the budget estimate of 2016-17 to 52,393. Isse madam, 35 percent increase SC allocation ka is budget mein hai. The allocation of scheduled tribes has been increased to 31,920 crores and minority affairs to 4,195 crores. The budget will introduce outcome-based monitoring of expenditure in these sectors by the Niti Aayog. For senior citizens, Aadhaar-based, for senior citizens, Aadhaar-based smart cards containing their health details will be introduced. A beginning will be made through the pilot in 15 districts during 2017-18. The LIC will be implement a scheme of senior citizens to provide an assured pension with a guaranteed return of 8% per annum for 10 years. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at Magic Bricks Now. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash Magic Bricks Now.